What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? I'm Lycan, and this is the Lycan Report. So, before I get into the spill of this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So that way, I can go ahead and keep making reviews of the films that you want to check out. What's on the review table for today? Well, check this out. Hocus Pocus 2. Disney. Yes, you finally done it. We've been waiting almost 20 years for this film. Now, to start off with the cast, A, the Salem sisters are back. So yes, we've got Sarah Jessica, Betty Milder, and Kathy Najimy reprising their old roles of the Salem sisters and coming back to us for another one. At the same time, we got some new people. We've got uh, Whitney Peak. we got Belisa Escabado, and Lili Beckingham, who are relatively the new witches. At the same time, we also have Sam Richardson. And with this cast, I have to say, oh my goodness. They, they've done it again. They've made a family and a Halloween family movie for everyone to enjoy. I have to admit, there are some more people along the way. Uh, some reprising their old roles and some people that are brand new to the cast and guess what they did not disappoint granted hey got some age in there and so forth and time in between but regardless of what they came through with a decent product that the family is going to love so when it comes to graphics and special effects once again the creators at Disney they they spared no expense on making sure that they actually had a decent lineup of special effects to wow the crowd uh, I mean the Salem sisters y'all remember from the first one shoot when they can't, had to come up with brooms I mean come on now you got a broom you got a Swiffer and you got some Roombas as, as their methods of travel I mean it, it was appealing to the eye at the same time you know it wasn't overdone it, it is just enough to entice the crowd and keep you watching for more plot of this particular one okay well basically if you've seen hocus pocus the first movie we're talking about relatively like 30 years in the future apparently uh some people who are involved in the first movie you know they're coming into the second movie and a new adventure with uh, uh the newer witches that are coming into play Hey, they get caught up in a situation bringing the Salem sisters back. I have to honestly say that at times it kind of felt like uh, it wasn't going to work out or, or it, it was almost seeming like a reboot in nature. But I have to admit, you know, some things that were done from the first movie that carried to the second movie, but through, throwing a little bit of twists and the modernizations, bringing things up to the times and everything, kept the appeal going so honestly when I have to say I enjoy this movie yes I thoroughly enjoyed this movie and I'm glad that everything has worked out for Disney when it came to bringing this movie uh, to another stage uh, I would have to honestly say out of one out of five I would literally give this a 4.5 uh, stellar cast, stellar performances, stellar special effects. The plot, uh, it, it brings a new twist, especially for those who are into witchcraft or those out there who are Wiccans. They somewhat level of insightfulness into the culture has been explained here. And it's directly not only respectful, but appealing to the crowd. And I have to say... You know, not only are you going to enjoy it, your family's going to enjoy it too. So make sure that, hey, if you're on Disney Plus, check out Hocus Pocus 2. I know I will again. It's going to be another one of those classic movies I want to put in my collection. So that's my spill on things, and this is Lycan on your Lycan Report.